rappers in Oakland, they don't deny that. Like the ace elephant or the Raider high pack. My people need something to believe in. The Raiders is about to go to Vegas, damn. I guess it's speed in. I guess it's speed in. And for one reason, they give you that feeling. Come on, we on top. That's my vision of Oakland, a place where culture has just been embraced. I always wanted to be able to provide music to create spaces where people could feel safe with all different walks of life, you know, and you can be who you are and come together. When I started my band, Kev Choice Ensemble, my first main goal was really to showcase a band of young African-American musicians who could play music at a high level and a high caliber. Even the image of that is a powerful thing, especially when you have so many negative images of what our men and women are doing. They call the police on the speakers just playing our music. They trying to force my people out. Man, it's on that PS. Rent going up. Can't even afford it. Speaking on this microphone, my soul food is cordless. Especially as an African American male, it was important for me to try to be an example for kids here in Oakland who have a desire and you can see that they have the potential to, to do great things. Hip hop culture, when I was a young kid in Oakland, we were engulfed in that. When I went to junior high school, I remember like seeing the ninth graders around a trash can, like beating on the trash can and like having a cipher blown away that kids would just be rapping for like an hour straight. Sort of like chemistry, how I'm combining these notes and these words like atoms to make energy. Ha ha, yeah, it's just that. At that time, Oakland was a majority African American city, very successful doctors, lawyers, activists, more black teachers. So it was very much a place where black people can do well and could thrive. My mother was a, a single mother, two children, but she was able to afford to live here, to, to pay her rent. That's almost impossible nowadays. With the decline of the African-American population, we don't have that same sense of community that we used to have because people have been forced out or people can't afford it or people are being made uncomfortable. Sound familiar since the days of the frontier Politics been corrupt, takeovers, displacement, colonizers, gentrification Similar situations that we face and you don't know your history Then you're doomed to repeat We talking about rooting in Oakland where our roots run deep For years, I kept my world of hip-hop, my world of being a classical pianist And my world of jazz very, very separate Being able to do Soul Restoration Suite Taking the hip hop concepts or creating it with a full orchestra, it's, it's like I feel like it's something that's been in my mind for a long time. That word restoration, trying to get back to who I really am as a person, to what got me into music, and that desire to get better, to grow, and also at the same time thinking about how do we get back to what Oakland really is, that community of, of support, of pride. Like, I know things change, I know times change, different people come in, but we still have to respect the traditions, understanding the culture, and the people, and knowing those are the people that Oakland has always embraced and stood for. I know one day we gon' make it. I know one day we gon' have just what we're fighting for. Just what we been fighting for. They can't take this love from us. They can't take this love from us, it's deeper than they know Yes, it's deeper than they know Hey, and my soul has no limitations My life is priceless And my faith is endless And I believe in truth